Pew Photo. This short tutorial will assist you in creating your first photo book online. The Online Picasso Album Maker is a rather comprehensive program and contains a large number of features. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we will only focus on creating a custom-made photo book as quickly and effortless as possible. To start, visit www.qphoto.co.za. Click on Photo Books in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Scroll down and click on Start your photo project. On the next page, you can choose between downloading our PC software or continue using our online version. Should you wish to download the software, be sure to watch our desktop tutorial. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will continue with the online version. Click on Create Online. The first step is to decide on the type of photo book you wish to create. You can choose between a standard or lay flat book. Not sure which one to choose? Just click on the Read More button for more information. Once you have decided on the type of book, click on the radio button below the image and click on Next. On the next screen, you can now select a cover for your photo book as well as the size and orientation. After choosing your cover, size and orientation, click on Next. Remember that you can change your mind at any time, just click on the back button to return to previous steps. You can either decide on a preset theme or start with a blank book. Choose from our beautiful range of ready books for a pre-designed photo book prepared by a professional graphic designer. Our ready books are free and will save you hours of time. Once you have made your selection, click on Next. Based on your choice of a theme, a set of theme-specific designs will appear. If you chose the holiday theme, for example, you will now be presented with various holiday designs such as an African party, beach fun or Christmas candy. Select any of these designs and click on the corresponding Start Your Book button. You are now presented with three options. To continue as a guest, to log in if you already have a username and password, and to register as a new user. We recommend that you register as a user since this will allow you to save your project and work on it at a later stage. Registration is also necessary if you want the photo book to be printed. You are now ready to start adding pictures to your photo book. Remember that you need at least 80 to 100 pictures to complete your photo book. Click on the blue icon on the top left hand side of your screen to add pictures. You have an option to upload pictures from your computer, import pictures from an existing photo book project or from a variety of social media platforms. Should you wish to import pictures from social media such as Facebook or Instagram, ensure that you are logged into these accounts before proceeding. Make your selection and choose your pictures. Your pictures will now appear in the left-hand navigation bar. Now is the time to get creative. You can click on the Autoflow button and the software will arrange all your photos in the book in less than a minute. You can then page through your book and make changes when necessary. Alternatively, you can add the pictures individually by selecting the image and dragging it across to the page. At the bottom of your screen, you will notice a summary of all the pages of your photo book. The first one will be the cover page. You can navigate through your book by merely clicking on the respective pages. At the top are various editing elements to help you change the layout of a page, add or change the background, add scrapbook elements, add text and many more. When adding pictures, avoid combining pictures taken during the day with pictures taken during the night on the same page as the darker pictures may seem faded. To resize an image, click on the image. Then click and drag the sides to the desired size. Remember to hold in the Shift key on your keyboard to ensure that the width and the length of the image keep the same proportion. Only want to include a certain part of the image? By cropping a photo, you can cut out certain parts of the picture. 
Simply double click on the picture and a cropping window will appear. You can now move the sides of the picture. Once you are done, you can click on the green button and you will return to the previous screen. If you want to enlarge a picture to fit exactly on the page, you can select the picture and click on the Fit button on the top menu bar. We recommend keeping important captions and parts of images such as faces at least one centimeter away from the red line to ensure that they will be properly printed. For more information, have a look at our Borders and Trim Lines guide available on the QPhoto website. Text can be added on all pages at any time. Click on the Add Text Box button and then click on the place in your photo book where you would like to add the caption. You can change the caption by double-clicking on the text box. Congratulations! You should now be able to create your first photo book. To have the book printed by QPhoto, you can click on the green shopping card on your screen at any time. Should you require any additional assistance, please contact our friendly client care consultants who will gladly help you to get started.